I really don't know if you can tell on camera, but these wheels are like really cumbered. <laughs> I might have to change these settings a bit. I thought it was neutral, but I guess it's sort of got a bit of camber on it. Looks cool though. <laughs> so, today we're taking the valve cover off and we're going to respray it. I've got some black paint and I'm going to sand down the Toyota logo here. Um, and I might sand down these lines as well, I'm not sure. Um, so, let's do that today. And um, probably got some other little things to do as well. Don't know how obvious it is in my videos that my garage isn't actually at the house, but I've just had some old guy come out and have a go at me, because this isn't essential, so apparently I should go back home. Not done a valve cover before. Is that attached to it? No. I think it should just pop off now. I'm down to the last one now, but essentially there's like rubber seals that go around this to keep it tight. So you have to take those off as well before the valve cover will come off. There you go, it's coming off now. I think I've got all new ones of these. So, should be able to. Will it come off now? Nothing. Wow. Oh god, I'm pissing oil all over. That looks a lot better inside than I was expecting. So let's cover this up with something so that shit's not going to go everywhere. And re-gasket this whole thing as well after we've painted it, I guess. This is what the inside, or well, the top of my engine looks like. That's mint. I've got a lot of cleaning up to do to make sure none of this... I, don't, I really don't understand why there's hairs all over the engine. It's weird. But yeah. That's cool. Is that like a little... It's like a little thing on that valve. Not valve. Camshaft, whatever this is, I think. Like a tiny little nick in it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Don't know if that matters. But yeah, that's better than I was expecting it. I was expecting to open it up and it'd be like gunked up with shit, but it looks like it's been fairly looked after. I mean, apart from that, black oil. <laughs> anyway, let's get prepping this for paint. I would talk all of these down, but my torque wrench only starts at 8 newton meters. I mean, it only starts at 28 newton meters, and these need to be torqued down to 8. So I'm just going to hand tighten them. Obviously, not hand tighten like this, but that's just to get them started. I'm going to just nick them up with this essentially.
Oh, it's mint. I was going to sand off the Toyota logo, like the letters there, but um, it'd be too hard, I think. And I quite like the look of it being all black. And I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's got like a little bit of flake. Like metal flake in it. In the actual paint. I didn't realise that when I ordered it, but it looks really good. So I've taken the brake line off, cut the anti-roll bar drop link off. I'm going to have to sort that out before I put the, well, after I put the new one on. I'll be able to um, drill that out next time I come, but I will be able to get the coil over on today at least. Um, so now I'm just undoing these bolts, same as it is on the front pretty much. Then I can undo the top bolts and drop the whole thing off. Right, it's been a long day. I'm really sorry I didn't film much. Um, there's just people around all the time, so I was trying to just get on with it pretty much. But um, all of, of all of the coilovers are on now. Set sensible. Um, and I'm going to leave it in the garage on axle stands and take all the wheels, because I've got tyres at home. Brand new ones ready to go on, and I'll get that done tomorrow. Um, I probably won't even film that, but just these need new tyres, so I've got a full set, so I'm going to back it into the garage and try and steal all the wheels, and um, that's pretty much it. I also got a new gear stick, because I thought that big one was looking a bit stupid, and this is going to be a lot better with its, uh, when I got the short shifter on it, but um, yeah. I'm just going to start packing up basically, and then once I've packed up, back this into the garage, take the wheels off, and we're good to go. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I know it's been a really messy video, I filmed the first part where I did the valve cover a couple weeks ago, um, but I didn't really think it was enough content to put into one video, I didn't really want to release it as like a three minute video, so that's why you've got this as well. Hopefully you're all staying sane during lockdown. Um, it's bank holiday at the moment, so you'll see when this comes out um, how quickly I can do it. But yeah, um, cheers for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.